Hey guys, Ian Flanagan here, EXP Realty, Dallas, Texas. And on this week's Freedom Friday Mastermind Call, my partners Bob and Pat are bringing on a digital marketing expert that's going to offer you some Google services to help you blow up your lead generation this year on Google. So all the links to set a call with Brett and actually to register to apply for their services are gonna be listed below in the description. If you have any questions or comments, drop those into the comments. Share this with your team members and I hope you get a lot out of this video. Enjoy. Uh, some of the testimonials that, that you're gonna hear in just a little bit is, is truly, truly amazing. And so I want every single one of you guys to listen in and we're just wanting to add the value. This is the first mastermind of the year and this is the perfect way to kick off the year to really grow our business with Google with 2022. So Bob, do you wanna share anything real quick? Yep. Hey, um, ultimately, ultimately for me folks, we can all agree lead generation is number one headache for real estate agents, right? just the way it is. I speak around the country, do a lot of webinars. Number one question, you know, or number one answer when I ask what's your biggest headache is leads. Now, as a business, because that's what you are, you either have a real estate job or a real estate business. As a real estate business, you have to control your own lead inflow. Buying from Zillow and other people where they're selling it to 10, 20, 30, 40 different agents never makes sense to me. So for me, what Pat and I always talk about is, how do we generate more leads, right? When Pat first came to me seven years ago, that was what it was. Hey, how do I generate more leads? And that's still the same issue for everybody else today. Now, I'll be honest with you, from let's call it 2005 to 2013, hey, Facebook was pretty decent at it, but now they've taken away all their targeting and stuff. The one constant that's never changed is Google. And the difference in Google is that, hey, I'm online searching for something specific to real estate, whether that's realtor near me, realtor in Desert Ridge, you know, realtor in Phoenix, whatever that is, somebody's online with a specific purpose. So if there's a way to take and do this in a way that you don't have to spend a fortune, to me, that's a big deal, right? So the, the first time I talked to Brett, then I'm fairly astute at marketing, right? And I said, well, how much do you think we should allocate for pay-per-click and for local services ads? And he's like, no, 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 if you just do this right, you don't need to spend money on that unless you have a big team that you're trying to feed. And so when somebody tells you, hey, I, I don't need to take your money for that, that to me blew me away, right? Because it's not common. And so at the end of the day, the Google Maps strategy that they put into place, it, in my opinion, is extremely powerful because we're on the place where people are searching for real estate. And then if you do a couple things right, you can convert that business. So with that, I'm going to introduce you to Brett, you know, Brett's company. Um, I'll let him tell the, the story really, but these guys, you know, I kind of joke with Brett and Eric, like they know more about Google marketing, I think, than Google does. That's so true. They got some badass analytics and how they do it. It's killer. So Brett, with that, I'm going to let you tell your story. How's that? Welcome to the call, Brett. Thanks. Thanks guys. I appreciate it. And, um, you know, what a breath of fresh air to, 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 to deal with, honestly, you and, and Pat, you and Bob. Um, you know, what, what I can tell you is uh, we, we've been doing this a very long time. Since 2008, we started. Um, started as a small company. My background was auto. I owned a Honda dealership in Miami. Um, built the infrastructure for digital marketing in the showroom floor. I mean, literally, I was in North Miami Beach standing on the dealership showroom uh, you know, doing Google searches for like Honda Accord North Miami Beach, and I'm nowhere to be found. And I'm like looking at other businesses that can do it better. And I hired my own developers and said, you know, we're, we're just going to take this and build our own system. Because at that time, it was just like uh, websites for dummies, right? Bob, you remember the days where you just drag and drop, there's, there's no SEO value at all. And yep. um, that's the name that, that was it. So I, I knew that I wanted to be different, um, build the digital infrastructure on the showroom floor, literally took this store from 700th in the company in the country to the top 25 in two years sold it had every honda dealer in, the, in america saying whatever you built i want on board and we realized we had something we could market and we jumped out of the auto space and into the website slash digital marketing space um from 2008 to 2017 we drew, we grew the company oh geez probably to 3500 auto dealers across the country um, sold it to private equity. Um, at that time, we were approved by Toyota, Nissan, Honda, uh, a bunch of big OEMs. And the vetting process is very, very intense um, compared to 
what I'm seeing outside of auto. I'm hearing horror stories where people are getting taken advantage of by digital marketing companies. And you don't know if you're working with a company like ours that is approaching 500 employees or you're working with two guys in their basement, right? You have no idea. Pat and Bob have gone above and beyond vetting our company. Literally, Pat met with the board of directors. He met with the team. He's seen the reviews. I mean, the detail that he put into vetting the company before he made this available to his agents was, was pretty extraordinary. So I commend you guys. I don't see that. Um, so with that said, in 2017, we started getting into other industries. We're currently serving auto contractors and real estate agents. And it has never been a more simplistic play than it is now to get momentum in the world of real estate agents. Google loves hyper local content, and that is how you move the needle in 2022. So uh, I'm just going to share my screen and we'll just jump right in if that's good with you, Bob. Yep. Yep. Go ahead. Let's see. You should be able to share. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. So if I'm doing a, a, a I'm going to show you a couple common searches and how this relates to you. Um, if, can you guys see my screen okay? Yep, you're yep. right. I, I moved from Los Angeles to Park City, Utah about a year ago. I, I didn't know a single real estate agent in Park City. We had vacationed here, we loved it. We wanted a smaller town. Uh, we wanted to escape the LA craziness with COVID. And literally I put in a search realtor near me and this is what I got. I, I saw the three options that I had available here. I knew at the top that these ads were expensive and uh, not really telling of, of who the best real estate agent is to work with in Park City. These ads have a click-through rate of roughly 11%. Um, the map ads here where I found my realtor has a click-through rate roughly of 70%. If you go down below the fold, and this has changed dramatically from one year to the next. Uh, maps now take up more real estate than ever. Ads also take up more real estate than ever. You can actually have five ads as of January 2022, um, but they still have an 11% click-through rate. I don't know about you guys, but if you're searching for anything, um, Bob, I can tell you're probably this way. What are the chances of you clicking on a paid ad? Probably close to zero. Zero. So, and that's the same. So 11% click-through rate. What this has done is all this real estate has pushed the organic listings below the fold. This is where most companies would tell you, you've got to do organic SEO. You've got to do organic SEO. And it takes time. It takes forever to be quite candid with you. And now that it's so far below the fold, this is a great thing for you. You'll notice realtor.com is way below the fold. Zillow, way below the fold. And what's dominating is maps. You need to be front and center in maps with a 70% click-through rate. No question about it. I, I said, look, Realtor, Realtor Park City is what I put in because I was in LA. Um, I quick I called the first listing. Bam, no one answered the phone. I went to the second listing and I got an agent. She answered the phone, engaged. I said, listen, I want to hop on the plane. I want to be there tomorrow. I want to look at some houses. We're ready to move. We know the area. We've been vacationing there for 15 years. Let's do it. Um, we, within 24 hours, we closed. We, we had a, a $3.1 million house under contract. It was quick. And that's how I found that. It was exclusive to her. And literally, we closed, We agreed to buy the house, cash offer, bam, 24 hours later, we had it under contract. What did that cost that first person that didn't pick the phone up? That, that, that was a massive mistake. Exactly. So the question becomes, how do you find more customers like that? Real estate is such a competitive market right now. You need to be first and center in the map section all the time. And I will tell you, you'll notice that uh, this realtor has 16 reviews. This one has 12. This one has two. Google is picking these at random, but there's an algorithm here. If you do it correctly, we can assure that you're in this section every time, 100% of the time. They're looking for content. They're looking for neighborhood, subdivision, HOAs. They're looking for very local content to determine who goes here. And if you can prove that you're the authority in this, they're going to show you 100% of the time. They're clearly picking this at random. You can see that this, this agent with two listings, he would be so easy to, to overtake and dominate all of these, quite frankly, would, because guess what? Realtors are not spending the time to create content. We found a strategy. We're writing blog articles for you based on lo local areas 
diving into neighborhoods and subdivisions. We'll even use street names. Google loves hyper-local content. And if we can make you more visible here, guess what? Your phone is gonna ring off the hook. I will share with you uh, a team that we've been working with. Uh, this is in Rancho Cucamonga, California. The, and I, I had a call with this gentleman uh, recently, um, today, actually this week. And I said, how is it going? And he said, man, I'm blowing up. What you're gonna notice is we started working with him heavily in, in October. And if I compare October versus October of uh, 2021, he's up 266% in phone calls. He was a realtor, got his real estate license, had another job and was like, how do I get listings? How do I get involved? And I said, it's all about dominating Google. So if we can turn around and, and get your phone to ring, uh, he's up 266%. November, he got 19 leads. In December, he got 29 leads. These are all phone calls, people that find him through maps, pick the phone up and say, listen, it looks like you're the, you're the expert in Rancho Cucamonga, California, because of his content. He's everywhere, right? And I, I'm, I'm thinking of listing my home. I said, okay, how did this work? Tell us the, the stories. He was able to leave his, his job. He was able to start getting listings in 20, with 29 incoming phone calls in December, up 300% from a year ago, he got five listings. Now, I don't know how hard that is. Pat and Bob, this is your area of expertise. I know digital marketing and I know Google, but how, how, how hard is that to get 29 incoming phone calls with people finding you on maps and to say five times, I need you to list my house. You're clearly the expert. I'll tell you what, that's huge. And I guarantee you every single agent, uh, uh, Brett, we're maxed out right at 100 uh, participants, 100 agents on the call. I guarantee you every single one of them on the call right here wants that. I guarantee it. They'd fight, they'd fight you for it. Absolutely. And guys, let me just point one thing out. That's like what you're looking at on the screen is 11 phone calls from somebody who was on Google looking for something real estate related that said, let me call them. This isn't like, oh, they filled out a Facebook form. They picked up a phone and called the agent. That's exactly right. That's exactly right, Bob. They picked the phone up and called the agent. Right. So let's talk about how we do it. We're creating a blog article every week. We're naming the cities that you want to be in. We literally are categorizing everything correctly. In this market, with most of the agents that we have, we're doing one of two things. We are going after people that say, you know what, houses are bringing a premium. I need to list my house. And we're overwhelming them with content saying, you know what? Uh, Jackie Jones is the best realtor in this city, right? And every time they start looking, they start looking, maybe it's Atlanta, Georgia, and they start looking at Buckhead, Sandy Springs, and all they see is her dominating every search. She's in every map search. And then guess what? She, as you start doing neighborhood searches, because we write very neighborhood specific. I bought a house in the Canyon Park City here right this second. But guess what? If I wanted to sell my house, what would I do? I would say, you know what? I want to look at to see what other homes in the Canyons Park City are going for. So Canyons Park City homes for sale. Now I've gotten neighborhood specific. The content that we're writing is neighborhood specific. So again, these ads at the top are going to have only an 11% click-through rate. Now it's time to dominate organic listings. And the content we've written to propel you to the top of the maps has now propelled you to the top of organic search. It is so easy to pass Zillow, to pass the best ski properties, to pass all these listings, because we're gonna mention the canyons. We're gonna mention all the different HOAs inside the canyons. I live at a place called Apex. So we're gonna mention Apex. We're gonna mention Lyft. We're gonna mention the Pendry by Montage. We're gonna mention all of these, these things very specifically. And it's so easy to get on the radar with Google because it's such hyper local content. And that is the key. So we're setting a blog article for the week. And that blog article is going to mention you in a, in a spotlight of how you're the best agent when it comes to Park City, Utah. You specialize in the canyons. You specialize in Deer Valley. You specialize in all these local specific searches. And then we're going to dive even in even further and if you live in an area like I do where there's HOAs or you live in a, in a different type of area where there's subdivisions or neighborhoods, we're going to get neighborhood and subdivision specific. 
We post every single day, multiple times a day to Google to make them realize that, hey, Pat Hayes is the authority in this market, period. And they will show you virtually 100% of the times. Our show rate, when we're meaning show rate and maps, when we're diving into real estate is 99%. So 99% of the time, you're gonna occupy these map listings in the cities that we're going after. Uh, in the business profile, we're talking about you're an agent that obviously sells real estate and lists real estate. We want to get you in this market as many listings as possible because it's hard to focus on houses when things are selling in 24 hours and you're getting multiple offers. So that is the content. That's the strategy we utilize right now. When the market slows and there are more houses for sale, we'll start making some local house listing content. Uh, we name up the city in which you reside in up to 15 sub cities of that area. And then each one of these with our team, we get specific and we say, hey, Bob, tell us in Chino, California, the neighborhoods you want to focus on. This is, again, hyper local. We can you guys can tell us here's five neighborhoods that are 500,000 to a million. That is my ideal client. And that is where we're going to have you front and center. So another person may say, look, I'm looking for first time buyers in Ontario, California. That's going to be a completely different content play. It's going to be a completely different neighborhood play. So we're going to understand you as an agent. We're going to back our way into what we need to write about. And then we're going to post content literally uh, over and over and over like you see here. We have a large team of graphic designers. We have a large team of content creators. We just crossed 75 content creators, Pat, for, for the company, which is massive. Yep. And these are content writers on the real estate side. This has nothing to do with our auto content writers. And if you implore this strategy, you're going to see your phone calls coming in from maps 80% of the time. They're literally on their iPhone. They're going to hit click to call and those are incredible leads. Now, let's go back to the person that didn't answer the phone. When I called, I was sitting in LA. I want to get the hell out of LA, right? I want to move to Park City. This guy, and I don't know it was this guy, but let's just say it was the first person I called. He missed the phone call. Pat, out of curiosity, what did that cost that guy? Uh, roughly about 30, what, let's see what, uh, let's see what, $90,000 in commission? Big, big mistake. What we've done, we our team is 400 plus we have a call center with 110 live chat agents and 55 call answering people. We have found the number one problem small businesses in general have. Auto, this was never a problem. You have a you know, you have 100 people in a dealership. They're always going to get the phone. But small businesses, and I'm going to say real estate is the is the ultimate small business. You could be a one man show or a five man show, but you're very very small. If your agents or you are on a property showing a property, guess what? You're going to miss the phone call. So what we've done is we've trained our agents to answer overflow phone calls. Literally, it rings you two, rings to you two times, or if you just immediately hit end, it's ringing our call center. We're answering the phone. Thank you for calling Pat Hayes' office. This is Amanda. How can I help you? And literally, you never have a missed phone call. That person that I'm talking to, Amanda, on the phone, had it been the person I called originally, I would say, yes, I'm looking, I'm, I'm, I live in LA, I'm looking to add a second home in Park City, I'm actually going to be there tomorrow. Guess what? That qualifies as a 10 out of 10. Immediately, the, Amanda is going to put a text into Pat saying, I've got someone that wants to buy a house within 24 hours in the canyons. Guess what, Pat? I bet you drop everything and answer that phone call. Absolutely. So we've got you covered there. That person missed that opportunity. The realtor, the second realtor I called, answered it. Bam, contract was done in under 24 hours. So our system is, and we're a very, very different digital marketing company. We sell websites. I would never tell a realtor to get a second website. Kiss of death, confuses Google. So many of these people are saying, hey, build a website. No, don't build a website. We can work with your EXP website. Let us install a blog. Let us install our 24 seven live chat operator. I mentioned we have 110 of them. In the event this person doesn't call you or is doing a neighborhood specific search, and guess what? This is the one they click on. Um, now I'm on a realtor website, right? And, but I have 24 seven live chat. We have our operators that are only dealing with real estate. We're divided by vertical. 
and they say, hey, you know what, um, Brett, I see you're looking at this house right here uh, on White Pine Canyon Road. It's $30 million. I have an electronic brochure. Can I go ahead and send this to you? What are the chances of that person saying, nah, I don't need that? Of course not. They're going to say, yeah, please send it to me. That's so awesome. We see where on the website they are. We engage that customer. We have a detailed response guide. We know the hooks that work. Would you like an electronic brochure? Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Let me do a few things. I'm going to throw up a screen here. It's going to ask for your first name, last name, email, and phone number. Bam, it's in your inbox. Perfect. Our online chat agent has accomplished getting the contact information on a $30 million listing. That immediately is sent to Pat Hayes' cell phone. Hey, Brett Sutherland's interested in this house at this address. List price is $30,900,000. He is at Ruth Chris Steakhouse. He immediately says, I'm not hungry anymore, walks outside <laughs> and makes the phone call, right? Absolutely. That's the name of the game. We're engaging people the correct way. And our chat operators are very efficient at it. So many people are coming to me saying, hey, Brett, I've got two websites or I've got three websites. Shame on you. It's confusing Google. It's hurting you. Get rid of them. Do I need paid search? Bob Mangold, first question to me. No. Why in the hell do you need paid search when only 11% of the people are clicking here? Let's focus on the 70% that's free. That's the name of the game in my book. So, uh, Bob, I'll pause there, see if there's any, any more questions or comments that you guys may have. No, I, I, I think the thing that's important to understand, folks, if you've heard me speak, you watch me teach a class, one of the first things I start with is, hey, if you want to double your business, there's only two things that you have to do. One is answer your phone. Two is empty your voicemail. Because I talk to hundreds of agents a week, and I can tell you 99% of them do not answer their phone, and probably another 95% of them, their voicemail is full. So true. Like if you want, because Brett has his story. And I, I moved to Atlanta, did the same thing years ago. There was no internet back then, right? I went to the grocery store and got three magazines and looked for, you know, everybody who advertised in three magazines. I called, I, I called like five agents. Only one returned my phone call. I didn't even get to talk to one. Only one returned my phone call. And guess who we bought through and closed in like two or three weeks. Yep. So if you guys, you know, you have to understand it's great to have leads coming in, but if you don't have a system to answer your phone and well, let's be honest, if somebody's on your website at three o'clock in the morning, do you want to be answering your phone? No. And so one of the funny questions I got is, you know, hey, are, are the people answering, are they VAs overseas, right? So I know you're worried, hey, or do they speak English? Well, they're in New Jersey, so they partially speak English, right? They speak New Jerseyan. Yeah, that's so, right. They, right? <laughs> I, and I do say that, yeah, they uh, they kind of are half American, right? Yeah. They're from New Jersey. <laughs> but so, hey, some great well, questions. Anyway, yeah, they so that's are why based, this is important. They are based in New Jersey. We own the call center. There's almost we're approaching 200 people in the call center. Owned it for eight years. They do a phenomenal job, uh, both on the chat end as well as the phone answering end. But Bob, you're exactly right. When I when we started jumping in from auto to contractors. Contractors and realtors, one man show, two man shows, three man shows, very, very small. When we jumped in the world of contractors, you could have a guy that has a $10 million business that's in the paving and asphalt space that is on a piece of heavy equipment and his phone rings. Guess what? He's going to miss it every time. The fastest way to grow revenue, I don't care if you're a contractor or you're a real estate agent, is answer the phone. Literally, in my opinion, you could double your results in 2022 by never having a missed phone call. And you will get more phone calls because we're gonna have you front and center in maps. Um, yeah, the other right. thing that's important too, folks, and Brett talked about it a, a few minutes ago, you can target specific, well, specific areas and all that, right? But let's say that you wanted to focus more on listings because everybody who knows me knows that that's what I teach. If you want to focus more on listing content, you can certainly do that. Now, one of the things that I do know that you know, a lot of times people um, will sit there and go, well, I don't want any buyer leads. Well, I'm going to tell you that's a mistake because guess what? Usually people that have a house to sell don't start online trying to figure out how to sell their house. They start figuring out how to buy that house. So you want to have a mix of that stuff, right? 
And so understand that, hey, if you target and get more specific on how you sell homes and what you do that's unique and different, and you can give Brett and his, his people that kind of um, content or those kind of ideas to create content around, they can target that much more specifically for what you actually want to work with, which to me is amazing. Yep. And also, let me answer quick. a few questions here. Yeah. So, yep. um, yeah. one person just said, Hey, uh, can we target more than one area, multiple states, et cetera? Don't ever do that. That is a huge mistake. Keep it very localized. You could say, Absolutely, we can target Florida, California, and Indiana, but we want three business profile accounts. Keep those hyper local. That is going to be the key to driving success. You may run into other SEO companies that say, hell yeah, we can do that. It doesn't work. It, 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 it will be less effective than you can ever imagine. If you keep it hyper local, you're absolutely going to dominate. Um, the riches are in the niches. There you Just go. know that, folks. The riches are in the niches. There you go. Yeah. And then also, real quick, I know uh, I've, I've got my phone blown up over here with some questions and whatnot, but uh, let me answer one of these questions here. Um, yeah. So this is, we've got a lot of commercial agents on here. We've got a lot of residential agents on here, farm and ranch agents. Brett, you want to answer that question? Yeah, we all, and this will answer a couple, answer a couple more pay, uh, questions. All the content's unique. We have a large, large team of content writers. We, we assign two to every account. They, you, it's your content. We want to know the where you are, where you market, what the neighborhoods are. It's very hyper-local. It's not shared content. It's all unique. We use Grammarly Pro. If it's not 99% unique, we don't post it. Um, I was talking to a, uh, an agent the other day that signed up. It was actually one that signed up with us. Uh, and he actually is in Utah, Pat. Um, oh, well, uh, signed Ron, up. Uh, Ron Stoker? In December, yeah. He yep. called me and he said, hey, I wanted investment properties, Brad, I got three phone calls yesterday, people saying, hey, I'm going through a divorce. I need to sell my family home. Can you help? Because he dominated from that search, right? We're making very specific content. We have a whole library of content topics that we recommend to you. How we work is uh, we, we really get to understand you. If you're commercial, if you're looking for commercial properties, that's what we're going to write about. Um, this particular agent was wanting to write about getting divorced. There's 42 million searches in a year. I blew my mind with people saying, hey, divorced and selling the family home. That's an annual search, 42 million results in America, very low hanging fruit. We can make you the authority in these topics. Um, so all the content is made <laughs> specifically for you. And it really just helps you to dominate in your area. It doesn't matter if you're looking for people that say, hey, I'm interested. Uh, I need to sell my house. I need a cash offer. We can go after investment. We can go after you being the listing agent. We can go after you being the authority in commercial real estate, et cetera. So uh, yeah, it's very, very, very specific to you as the agent. Yeah. Imagine missing that phone call for a cash buyer that wants to buy this property for 30 million. Wow. This is an interesting one. Is there a pause if we go on vacation? Absolutely not. If you stop feeding Google content, you've, lose, you've lost your positioning. But guess what? If you do go on vacation, you're not going to miss a phone call because you, we can answer every phone call for you. We can engage people via live chat and you can be on the island relaxing. So um, yeah, that's, that's a good question. Uh, call center is on the East Coast and they are open 24 hours a day. You're so that, that's actually a good point to bring up, Brett, is if they pause if they're on vacation. So listen, I know how real estate agents' brains work. And they go, all right, well, I could do this for three or four months. And then I stop. And you can do that. But at the end of the day, you, it's not that you'd lose the content. But Google then starts recognizing you're not creating any content anymore. And so they take and go to the next person. What we're showing you is something that you make an every day, every month part of your business from now until, well, unless something happens with Google, that it changes. Because creating that content is critical to staying viable. That's what Google looks for, okay? So this just becomes part of your business. Now, as Brett told you, you can try and do it on your own. You definitely can, but it's very difficult to do. So wouldn't it be better to let somebody else do that for you? You sit back and answer the darn phones. Yep, I love it. Because if you start and stop, guys, Google recognizes that and says, no, that's not a serious person. Or if you create a bunch of content 
Let's say you do that for six months and you go, wow, I'm really showing up in all these different search terms. And then you stop in some way. Again, this is algorithms. It's doing it right. So, but at the end of the day, I want you to think about it. If you were Google, you'd go, boy, these people for six months trying to scam the system and then they stopped. You're dead to Google at that point. Big time. Right? Because you've irritated them going, hey, these people are trying to beat the system for a couple months. That's not how this stuff works. This is a commitment to say, hey, this is just becomes part of my business and I leave it alone. I set it and forget it. They handle it. And all I have to do is improve my skill at answering the phone and converting business. Very true. I see that Heather Gill's fired up. I love it. Hey, Brett, you want to answer uh, James Holmes's question because my phone's blown up about how much does this cost? This is unbelievable. How do we get started? What do we do? You want to answer those questions? 100%. So we charge $799 a month. That includes us blogging once a week. We create content every day, multiple times a day. We're making posts. Uh, we have a shared platform called Sendable where you can actually go in and preview all the content. We try and keep content 60 days a ahead um and you guys can jump in and look at it in the sendable platform if you guys want us to to share all of this with social media with facebook and instagram etc we can do that that is not a problem um but yeah it's 799 dollars. and let's talk about what it looks like when you get started literally um month one when we started working with the with the team i just showed you and rancho cucamonga month one they were up six percent month two they were up 15 percent month three they were up 97 percent there's something called content compounding and this kind of goes back to what bob was saying what if i go on vacation can we pause no you can't because every day every post you start getting all of this you start it starts compounding and you become People say something went viral. That's how it happens. Uh, the seven ninety nine include the shares to social media. Yeah, absolutely, it does. So, business profile. It'll publish out to social media. We add a blog to your to your website to your exp website. We add twenty four seven live chat to your exp website. So, literally, um, it, it's all. And, and that's it. that's not a chat bot, folks. That's a chat person in New Jersey. Because that makes a difference, right? Okay. And so it looks like Brett had a. There yeah, you go. That makes a ma massive difference, Bob, because literally part of our setup is we're creating a response guide for you. We're, we're knowing how Bob Mingold wants us to answer a question. We're creating the content, the ebooks, all of the information to properly engage these people. We operate and people are like, how do you do this for $7.99? We do this for $7.99 because we have 5,000 clients. We're private equity backed. We're a $70 million revenue company. We have 500 employees or approaching 500 employees and another almost 200 in our call center. So um, this, is a, this is a scalable model. We want to give people what works. We're not trying to sell you paid search. We're not trying to sell you a website. We're trying to get you front and center in Google dominate through Google Maps, got, dominate organically. That's the key. Google loves hyperlocal content. I cannot tell you how, how, how much and how fast this works. Speaking of which, Bob, one of the most common questions I get is, what can I expect to see? It's going to take us two weeks to set up your business profile, to categorize, to get it correct, right? Once we do that, during this first two weeks, we're producing content. When we start publishing this content two weeks later, we ask Google to crawl the site. 72 hours later, you're gonna see through the business profile, the calls going up, the visits going up, everything is gonna start going up. It's very quick. Local content indexes so, so fast. Love it. And guys, yeah, whenever I first talked to Brett and his team, Bob and I were on the phone together, and, we, and that was my question. So how much is it gonna cost me? Is this, you know, probably another two or $3,000 a month? He goes, it's seven ninety nine. dollars I said, you gotta be kidding me. I said, I've got to share this with my team. I got to share this with the masses. This is unbelievable. For $7.99, you get all of this. Guys, this is all you need. This is all you need right here to scale your business, right? Now, well, hey, one other thing too, folks. <laughs> if you do have a team or I've seen somebody make a comment, hey, I can scale up a team. At some point, if you want to have Brett and his team start doing like local services ads or Google pay-per-click, they can do that. But the reality is if you're just a single producing agent, you really don't need to do that. And I've looked at the agents they work with and it's like, 
you know, this kid that we're talking about, he did like just short of 8 million in production in about four and a half months. So at the end of the day, that's a big deal. And Brett, I'm going to let you ask, answer this one because it's been asked a couple times. How do you keep from having other optimization companies push, push us out of the top search results? Or what do I do if there's somebody else in my market that you guys work with? So that's really a great question. And I'm, encounter, I'm I'm being asked this question all the time. I would tell you that a, a search area is larger than you may, th may think. Literally, if, uh, if I'm working with somebody in Park City, there are so many neighborhoods in Park City, HOAs, et cetera. I recommend starting off with five. I don't recommend going after all of them. Let's make you the expert in five. Let's make you the uh, master of your own domain. Um, so we will never overlap and have uh, one agent in, in the canyons and parks or two agents in the canyons and Park City. Once you sign up, you own that neighborhood. That's yours. So um, there is a bit of a you know, time, time sensitive issue in the fact that literally um, we're not going to oversell. It would become so it would just become very much less effective. Um, and, and we won't do that. So when we're setting up, we had we had two yesterday where they were in the same market and they said, look, I want to target this, 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 and this. And three of the five areas were taken. And guess what? We passed on the deal. You know, our commitment to our customers, we're incredibly customer centric. And uh, I can tell you, Pat and Bob, you both know that by working with me just for a short period of time. I mean, I'm working constantly if there's an issue, I'm on top of it, like, 100%. immediately. It's, it's very different. Yeah, guys, Brett was working on uh, on New Year's Eve and on New Year's Day with... Uh, Nine o'clock New Year's Eve, I'm getting texts. Wanting to sign up. It was crazy. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 his team is the real deal. And Brett's even the real deal. I mean, he's hands-on. He is hands-on. You can call him. You can talk to him. He'll email you. He'll text you. He's hands-on with his team. All right, and guys, down in the chat box, Brett put a link where you can go and, and get that information. You can also schedule a, a call with them because Mark asked a question. I wanted to transition to this one, Brett. We haven't really done this on other calls. Two things, guys, you need to know this is not an EXP exclusive. I, I'd love to tell you it is, it's not. And so at the end of the day, what we decided, we're gonna go to our groups first. That's why you see kind of some intense text messages and emails coming out from Pat and I. We wanna go to you first because just like Brett said, he passed on a few yesterday. So we want your area. All we said is, hey, Brett, let us go to our people first. And then after that, you just need to know we're going to market it to other agents and other companies. You may go, well, why would you do that? Number one is it's business, right? Number two, Mark asked a question that I want to spend a couple of minutes on re the recruiting side of this. Yep. He goes, hey, if things work out, I'll be moving to Texas in September. Should I wait until that happens to start? as there might not be enough time between now and I'm leaving British Columbia, right? Here's what I would tell you, Mark. I would start doing it in Texas right now, generate the leads, and then use the leads to go and recruit agents in Texas. Hey, Pat, this is Bob Mangold with EXP. Hey, the reason I'm calling, man, I actually live in, in British Columbia right now, but I've got a buyer, I've got a seller in whatever market it is, and I need an agent to work with them. Will you pay a 30% referral fee? Done deal. Guess what? Guess what, guys? Now you took an agent from whatever company it is, gave them a deal and now you get to sit down and talk to them right number two is from a recruiting standpoint right the number one question you guys have seen me on stage doing all the uh, objections and all that stuff but the reality of it is what i need to send or what i need to spend time with people on isn't swatting down objections it's how do i get into a conversation with somebody so now let's say you've got whatever, 5, 10, 15, 20 search terms where you're on those Google Maps and you sit down and I go, hey, Pat, tell me about your lead generation. What are you doing to do business this year? How's it work for you? What do you guys do? Where, do you, where are you spending your money? And he says, whatever he's going to spend. And they go, wow, that's really interesting. And I start punching in Google search terms. It's like, Pat, I'm kind of confused, dude. Like, you're not showing up anywhere on Google. Like, yeah. why not? Right. And then you go, well, let me just show you mine. And then you start punching that in. You go, see that here and see that here. And then you could log in and look at how many calls you're getting. Dude. And then you go, well, this is what we do. Now, you know, I have a friend of mine, Brett, that works with us that helps agents that come to my team do this. 
So let's talk about that for a second. It was interesting. I was on an interview with a, a reporter from Entrepreneur Magazine yesterday, and they were interviewing me about um, how hard it is to find employees for businesses right now. And it's no different than you guys at eXp recruiting agents. Right. My exact advice to him, and we've been dealing with this heavy in automotive, everybody's saying you can't hire technicians, you can't hire all these people, restaurants, the same thing. You don't have a recruiting problem. You have a marketing problem. How do, and so many people come to me and they say, hey, Brett, so how would you hire people? How would I hire agents? I'd build a funnel. I would create massive amounts of content. And again, you've got a marketing problem, not a recruiting problem. If you do it correctly and make yourself stand out as an agent, guess what? People are going to raise their hands and they're going to start saying, let's go, right? I mean, if I was an EXP agent, I was wanting to recruit people, I would build a website and I would be talking about all the things this could do. Videos, success stories, flood it with content, have our team make the content. And guess what? You're, you may be recruiting five agents a month. Now I bet you can recruit 50 because I don't care what market it is. If you're looking for a house, if you're looking for agents, if you're looking for a car, if you're looking for a restaurant, guess what? 96% of everyone starts their search online on Google. Be front and center. And I guarantee you will grow and grow very, very quickly. Love it. Guys, and here's a Another thing to think of. So the, those of you in my revenue share group, I'm going to be teaching how we can work with your lender to do the same thing. Because, well, guess what? This works for the lender. And now our lenders are generating business for our realtors. And I'm going to teach the lenders how to recruit for our realtors using this strategy. Love it. Huge. I'm going to share one more thing. Uh, this was a question I got yesterday, not even on this call. And they said, hey, Brett, I've, I've got a little bit larger team. I want, to, I want to start with a bang. I'm going to show you, LA is typically the most expensive market in the world to advertise in, okay? Um, here's a company that says that has a large team. We're, a, we're in a beta with Google Maps. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. And I, and I know that this is, uh, uh, this is going to have a map bad here dentist near me this is how i found my dentist this is how people search literally do you see this ad at the top here granite view dental if we're dominating organically okay and we have you in all of these searches organically and we're one of six companies in a beta none of them work, are working with realtors other than us and you could secure that little ad spot at the top this is the best ROI you can possibly get. Let's let's dive in. And Bob, I want you to really hold on because you have not seen anything this inexpensive to generate traffic in, in your life, probably. And, and I know you get digital marketing. In your seat belts, I'm going for a ride. All right, let's go. <laughs> $607 spent in the month of October. The beta rolled out October 1. 18,000 clicks to the website for a $600 spend, 2 million impressions. This makes, when Facebook started ads, this makes that look expensive. I, I, I would challenge you to find anything that has a better ROI than map ads. Imagine you, you dominate, you own the first spot here from a map ad perspective and you own the first spot organically, you've shifted the tables. You've got a 50% chance now that they're gonna click on you. So a lot of people are saying to me, Brett, okay, so what happens when I do get this? Do I ever reach a plateau? Of course you reach a plateau because you're gonna be dominated. You're gonna be showed 99% of the time on maps. How do we get it from 99% and, we, and we, you're getting 25 incoming phone calls to 50? This is how you do it. Our job is to have a performance team work with every single one of you. You have a dedicated performance manager and they know what we're certified in. They know what, how we can move the needle once we've achieved success organically and you're getting 25 phone calls and you're listing five houses a month. How do we get it to the next level? This is one of those ways. So Bob, I'll pause and, and I'm gonna ask you, have you seen anything like that? That's three cents a click to get people to your website where they can be engaged by our live chat operator. I have not. Yeah, I have not. That's awesome. Wow. What do you guys think? 
We've got a few more minutes here, and I definitely respect everybody's time. We've got about five minutes until uh, the leadership meeting. What do you guys think? Let's open up the Q&A. Uh, Brett's here to help us out, guys. I mean, it's uh, Brett's a busy guy, you know, and I asked him, hey, can I have at least an hour of your time uh, to help us, uh, you know, with my mastermind kick off the year? And he said, yes, I'll be there. So that's what we're just trying to do. We're just trying to share it with the masses. Again, share it with our team first. Uh, because this is going to be a huge recruiting tool, a huge retention tool, and we're super excited to um, you know start using it for agent attraction as well. So and, I'm excited. And we want our people, and we want our people picking the areas that they want before, right? Because I can't, and that's not guys. That's not a sales pitch. Brett uh, approached us about, about helping them expand into the real estate space of this, and it's a business, guys. And they they they've obviously got other verticals. And so we're going to help them do that. But we look at it as like, hey, that becomes a recruiting opportunity for us, number one. And number two, for me, I'll be honest with you, at the end of the day, take all the bullshit away. For me, this is real simple. If I could take my 1,060 agents in our rev share group and I could all get them to double their production this year, do you know what would happen to the revenue share payout? Be huge. Everything else, everything else is a bonus. Then I could teach them how to use it to recruit everything else is a bonus after that yep and so i just want mine to we get it, i get it it's a you know it's not a cheap investment every month but at the end of the day guys we're in business and we have to invest in our business to generate dollars yeah. and then uh brett sandy had a question any other costs other than the seven seven ninety nine per month no there are no other costs we're not here to constantly upcharge you we're here to help you grow Right. I hope that that we can set up one area and then we can help you expand to another area and set up another business profile and continue to have you dominate. That's the name of the game. Um, and I've gotten several questions about this. What happens when you have several in one city? Look, I would encourage you to fill out the form and let's get started. An implementation manager will call you. There is a chance I'm going to tell you right now that you get a phone call and say, hey, I'm, I really want to dive into the area you want to be in. You list five neighborhoods, five subdivisions, et cetera. And we may tell you, I'm sorry, that area is taken, right? Um, that area is taken. But we're your partner. We're here to help you grow. Um, we're, as I said, we're extremely client centric. You'll have an implementation manager that holds your hand while we get everything set up. And then you're going to have one dedicated performance manager. That performance manager is there month in and month out. They're going to come to you and say, Pat, these are the four blog articles I recommend. We're data driven. And I'll tell you why, because, you know, when we start talking about what happens when you selling your hand in, a, in when you're getting a divorce or selling your house when you're getting a divorce, right? Those types of topics should bring you 1500 people to your website, 25 phone calls and 10 email leads, right? Yep. We're going to back into the data. Yep. And again, uh, let's see, uh, Lance, to answer your question, yes, this call is being recorded. I will post it again in Team Disruptor so everybody that missed it uh, can watch it and share it with their team as well. And then, Joy, uh, you got your hand up. Sorry, I had to, I had to mute you real quick because you had a lot of background noise, but uh, let me go ahead and um, unmute you. Go ahead, and go ahead and ask your question. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Brett. I was very excited to hear this because we had a presentation, I think it was in December, from a Google digital marketing company and I consulted with them and they said I needed a new website. So it's really exciting to hear you say, no, you can use your uh, EXP website and you can get this done. So yeah, I'll be talking to somebody soon about this. Yeah, you do not need a website. Um, yeah. Number one rule of business. If you have two websites, Google thinks you're trying to, to, to outsmart the system. There is nothing wrong. And I talk to these people all the time. There's zero wrong with your EXP site. We can absolutely put live chat on it. We can put a blog on it. We can take it to the next level. Do not waste your money on a second website. Love it. All right, guys, we got time for maybe one. Hey, well, more. let me answer Gary's question real quick. Yeah, go ahead. For contract. It's $7.99 a month. Yes, there is a 12-month contract. Guys, this is not designed to start and stop. So if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Now, if you want to do a month to month, you can do it, but it's almost double the price at $1,500 a month. So I don't know why you would start it, do it for a month or two and do that. It just doesn't make sense. If it's right for you, great. If it's not right for you, great. I, you know, if it's not right for you, don't do it. And let me expand on that. We're, when we're creating new, new blog articles, can you imagine at the end of the year, you have 52 blog articles on your website. You've just created 52 new entry points based on neighborhoods, based on subdivisions, based on city names, 
where people can find you. If in, in, at the end of two years, you have 104 new entry points. Content compounding is the name of the game. And Bob, you're exactly right. That would be my, my advice to a T. If you stop, if you go on vacation, no, we're not going to stop it. We're going to keep having it go. It, but however, if you say, hey, I'm going to be gone for a week, guess what? Our call center is going to answer 100% of your phone calls. You haven't missed a thing. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to Cabo in a week, right? I promise you, if somebody calls me and wants a deal, you guys know I don't produce anymore, but calls my son, let's say, I, I guarantee you, I'm going to call him back from Cabo. And I'll get an agent, even though I'm out of town, I'll get an agent to take them out, list their property, whatever it is. I guarantee I can solve the problem from Cabo, right? We have these cool things called, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Love it, guys. Hey, and just remember, hey, guys, you got to spend money to make money. You know, I get a lot of agents asking me all the time, hey, how can I generate leads? How, what can I do? What can I do? You know what? If you're flat broke, go do open houses, right? But if you want to take your business to the next level and double, triple, quadruple your business, you need something like this at an affordable rate. Guys, I used to spend two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 a month at Zillow. I've done it. I've done it. And it hey, stopped. Pat, do you remember a few, whatever it was, I guess it's a few years ago when you came to me and said, hey, I need to generate more leads. My agents need more leads. And I told you, absolutely not. You're not doing another damn thing yep. until you go back and make sure those agents are following up with those leads. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Bob, so, yeah. Yep. He was on me, man. He was on me. He goes, no, you don't need to spend any more money. You need to go back and have your agents follow up with those leads. I'm going to answer Jessica's question real quick in, real, in terms of our call systems. Um, an overflow minute, what I mean by overflow is backup, right? Um, that is where we are answering on an overflow basis. Rings your phone two times, then it's going to ring us. It includes 100 minutes. 100 minutes, and that for 99% of realtors is all you need. In the event that you're a large agent and it goes over, guess what? You've got a fantastic problem on your ha on your hands. The average call time is 46 seconds. So, uh, and let's say you go over 100 minutes, you go to 101 minutes, you're going to get a bill for a dollar and 35 cents. But guess what? We just got a uh, we engaged a customer who says, "Hey, I'm interested in seeing a house tomorrow in Park City, Utah." Is that worth $1.35? Absolutely. So literally, if you're using us for over 100 minutes, you're selling $20, $50, $70 million in real estate. My answer is if you're using more than 100 minutes, you hit the holy grail. That's my You answer. hit the holy grail. Right. Absolutely. So that should be your biggest problem is I've got more than 100 minutes of phone calls coming in every month, right? So right. How did that, I talked to a lady, big Gabrielle big. Davis. She said, yeah. hey, uh, she she's the one that got up in December. She said, this keeps going. I'm flying to Park City and taking you and your family to dinner next year. Yes, I um, am too. I can't wait. Too. I can't wait. And uh, Brett, I know we got a lot of agents texting me and then also on the on the uh, group chat here. Uh, do you want to maybe put your Calendly link in there just in case they want to schedule a short little maybe 10, 15 minute phone call with you privately uh, yes. to answer their questions? Okay. I will do that right now. Give me one second. And guys, what once you onboard, I see a lot of the technical questions. You know, will I get a Google phone number? Once you do that, you'll just schedule, you know, and the, the folks will walk you through, you know, what's got to be done, how it'll work and all that stuff. So don't get caught up in the details. Just ask yourself, or at least for now, you know, so for all you S&C personalities, get over it. Because, you know, one of the questions we had is, you know, who else at EXP is doing this? Pat, you want me to answer that? Answer Pat, it. Pat and I, there is yep. nobody else at EXP. So we're going to our revenue share groups first to say, guys, you're getting first crack at this. And I'm just going to tell you, we'll eventually, we work that up when we go outside of our rev share group, it's going to $9.99 a month. It's Yeah, it's going to right? So the, again, this is not exclusive to EXP. It's not even exclusive to our group, but you guys are getting first crack at it. Brett agreed to do it for our groups at a little bit lower price. But no, this is going to be bigger than this. And it's our responsibility. You know, we, you know, yeah, we just, that's just how it is. There is nobody else. This is Pat and I, that's all Brett works with. They, they asked us to, hey, come, come aboard and help them do this. And, and because we know the real estate space, but we want you guys to have first crack at it. Now, if, yep. if you want to wait, it's okay. Yeah. I literally went to if Brett. It's not right for you. That's yeah. okay. I went to Brett about a month ago. I said, Brett, I've got a team of over 4,500 agents spanning 47 states, five Canadian provinces and 11 countries. How can I get this out to my team? He said, let's start doing webinars. We've been doing three or four webinars almost every single week now, just trying to get this out to everybody.
right? And I know I've been posting a lot out there. I'm just trying to get the word out to everybody because this is huge. Every single agent needs this. That's why I have it. Bob has it. I want every single one of my agents to use this to grow their business in 2022 with Google. Hey, last last two questions I'm going to answer. Jessica, yes, you can absolutely start on 2-1. Not a problem. Sure. What I would suggest you guys do is literally fill out that link right away so we can start securing the areas you want to secure. Right. And I think you're the next question, exactly right. Why would you give money to Zillow? Why would you give money to third-party listing sites? Right. The changes Google has made, this is a funny story. The changes Google has made has devalued Zillow, has devalued Realtor.com, has devalued AutoTrader. I was talking to the founder of AutoTrader. He had the ability to go to market at a $9 billion valuation, thought he could bring it from $9 billion closer to twenty, didn't do it. And guess what? AutoTrader now has been pushed so far down the fold. It's just like Zillow, where it's become obsolete. There's no reason... You no longer do you have to pay Auto Trader your dealership's money for them to outrank you. No longer do you have to pay Zillow. There's no way they can get in the maps. The current valuation of Auto Trader is 400 million. It was nine billion. They wow. missed the mark. Ouch! Ah, oh, that hurts. That hurts. What's the old greed? Uh, the pigs get uh, pigs get slaughtered and whatever. Pigs, pigs get fat and hogs get slaughtered. Get slaughtered. That's there you go. There you go. Well, Brett, I just wanted to say, man, thanks so much for your time. I know you're a busy guy. This was incredible. I know my phone's still blown up. The text is still blown up. And we uh, we're at uh, ten oh six Central Time. We still got sixty eight on. I know we maxed out at hundred. And my phone was blown up, saying, "Hey, I can't get in. This is being recorded. I will put it out in Team Disruptor." I'll put it out to everybody that texted me as well so they can listen to this. They can sign up as well. Everybody needs this. Yeah, Pat, I put one more time just now my Calendly okay. link okay. and the sign-up form. I would encourage you to go ahead and sign up to secure your territories before you book a, a calendar event. Uh, I had a lady book a calendar event yesterday, and literally the day before, we took her, somebody took her territory. Oh, geez. Guinness. Yeah, Jessica, I see your question right there. Brett, I signed the contract now, but I have more questions and you are full until Monday. Hey, Brett's a busy guy. He is. But you know what? B book it on. Yeah, book it on Monday. Hey, guys, uh, and I just I just put a go to webinar link in the chat box. So we're doing another call at 11 a.m. or whatever in 50 minutes, whatever it is. 50 minutes, so if yeah. you've got people in your rev share group that couldn't get on this or just people in your rev share group to go, hey, get your butt on this there's the, the go to webinar link and we start like 50 minutes there you go yeah or so yeah. we're going to do that again this is one for for just our revenue share group so is this one that we're doing at 11 but we want to try and get as many of our people on these calls to lock up those who want to do it to lock up an area before we start going outside of our group fair enough yeah. Love it. guys. And I'm telling you, hey, we vetted this, this company, we vetted Brett, you know, Bob and I wouldn't put our name on anything. And this is the real deal. We're super excited. And Brett, I'm so glad that, you know, you came into our life and came into our business so we could just share the love with the masses and help everybody grow. And I'm being serious to everybody on the call. Pat is the first person that said, not only do I want to meet the senior managers, I want to meet your board. I want to vet you guys and make sure we're backed by Primus Capital. They, uh, you know, have billions of dollars in portfolio companies. And Pat, Pat met the head of Primus. Guys, whenever everybody was vacationing in, in, uh, in, in December for Christmas vacation, that's what Bob and I were doing. We were having Zoom calls with the board of directors, with Brett, with his team, with the private equity group, Primus. We had, we had so many calls in the month of December, but you know what? I was doing this for you guys. Bob and I said, we have to get this out to our group here. This is, the, this is what every agent needs. And guys, it's affordable. That's what I'm so excited about. It is not a two or $3,000 a month ad spend like Zillow and Realtor.com. $7.99 a month. This is incredible. And somebody just asked on the first Zoom call, I heard the fee was $500. Did I hear wrong? Yes. It's never yeah, that was wrong. Yet. No, no, no. We did one before, uh, before the new year. It was $6.99. And that was just our first one. And now it's $7.99. I think that's still too cheap. But Brett says, nope, that's it.